This is Emily. Emily likes to spend money, but she knows she really needs to be in control of her money. But how does she do that? Someone told Emily she needed a tool that would use her financial goals and a budget to help her decide how her money will be spent, instead of just hoping she would have enough to pay for what she needs. They told Emily she needed a spending plan. So what is a spending plan, she wondered? Turns out that a good spending plan has three main parts. One, setting your goals. Two, identifying your income and expenses. And three, tracking and adjusting your spending. This made sense to Emily, so she began to create her killer spending plan. First, she set her goals. She divided these into her short-term goals that she would need money for within the next three months, some medium-term goals for three months to a year, and her long-term savings goals for a year or more. Emily's first priority goal was to create an emergency fund with savings for three months of her expenses. She hoped to have her emergency fund established within a year. She listed all her goals in her spending plan and then calculated how much she will need to save each month to have the amount of money she needs by the time she needs it. Emily chose a time frame for her spending plan that would make it easiest for her to track her income and expenses. Since most of her bills come once a month, it made the most sense for Emily to create a monthly spending plan. Emily listed all of her income which included a scholarship and money she earned from her part-time job. She held off listing her loans until she figured out whether she had more expenses than income. To make it easier to add up, she split her expenses into two categories, fixed expenses and flexible expenses. Emily figured out that the easiest living expenses to track are fixed expenses. These are the things she pays for every month and they don't change much, if at all, like rent, utilities, and insurance. Emily's flexible expenses, on the other hand, were all the things that can change each month, like groceries, entertainment, and clothing. Since she wasn't sure how much she spent on these every month, Emily decided to go back through her last few bank statements to get an average. Listing expenses was an eye-opener for Emily. That's when she realized how much money she actually spent every month. When Emily subtracted her expenses from her income, she saw that her income didn't quite cover her monthly expenses. She decided the remaining amount was how much she needed to borrow in student loans to help her meet her extra expenses. However, looking over her income and then her expenses, Emily had the sudden realization that she didn't necessarily need to borrow that money. She could spend less. She listed all of her monthly income and expenses in detail and then decided which expenses could be reduced, like dinners out. And voila! Now her expenses no longer exceeded her income and she can now save money for her emergency fund. Now, spending less than you earn may seem very basic, but it's an extremely important principle of personal finance. Emily remembered that her mom had often said that wants and needs are not always the same thing. So, Emily realized that one way to cut her spending was by figuring her wants versus her needs. She knows that she needs to eat, but she really wants to go out to eat with her friends every day. She decides one way around this is to have her friends over to her place to cook together. It's still something fun to do with her friends, but costs a lot less money. Using her killer spending plan, Emily managed to gain control of her spending, her money, and her financial future. Emily was now armed with a spending plan strategy she could share with her roommate Monica, who had just started her own plan. Set your goals, decide on a time frame, estimate your income, anticipate all your expenses, create your spending plan and adjust it as you go, and find ways to reduce your spending or even earn extra income if you need to. And with a solid spending plan in place, you too can become an empowered financial decision maker, like Emily.